Now, how to choose a Facebook ads agency? I just want to do a real quick discussion about this, okay? Now, first thing first, right? If you are looking, I mean, seriously, this is actually very normal. Not everybody wants to learn uh, to do this, okay? Um, some people are just too busy. I totally understand that. And uh, you just need somebody that is trustworthy to really get your thing up and running real quick and you want to start seeing results coming in and you can actually learn along the way while everything is happening for your business, right? So I guess the number one thing I would say that is very important for you to consider when you're choosing uh, Facebook ads agency is, okay, I would say first thing first, ask for their existing clientele. So when you ask for the existing clientele, what we can do is we can actually quickly dive into whatever that they are doing right now. Like for example, right? right I'm just going to get into this real quick. Say for example, if you are, let's say if Meta for Business is your client, I'm just saying. So let's say ask for their clientele. So ask for the brand, ask for the Facebook page, okay? And anything that they are doing. You don't need to say that, oh, I want to see your ad and all that. I mean, you can't judge anyway. And um, in a way, sometimes it's kind of like, you know, like PNC that they probably won't show. But when you ask for their clientele and uh, get a client's name, you are actually able to go in and actually look at what they are doing for the client. Like, for example, if you go to Meta for Business, now this is a Facebook page, right? When you go to the Facebook page and go all the way down, okay, um, and uh, basically you'll be able to see this page transparency. Can you see that? Now go into page transparency. I need to, uh, yeah, go into page transparency. And uh, then you'll be able to see all these like, you know, like when they change their name and blah, blah, blah. And as a, at the bottom of it, you'll be able to see like this page is currently running ads. So you can just click, go to the ad library and uh, you'll be able to just go in and take a look at whatever ads that they are. Probably, it's then probably it's not, but at least you get a brand name. And uh, from a few, you can actually judge whether, you know, whatever they do is kind of like what you are looking for. And uh, to see whether this is something that you are actually, um, you know, like what you are looking for or not. Okay, so the way they run ads, the way they do their creative, they do the way they do their content creation, uh, copywriting, and all that. You can actually get a feel of it to see whether this is something that is within something that you are looking for or not. Okay, so that's the first thing I would say. Look for their clientele so that you can actually dive into their, you know, like existing clients. Um, um, you know, whatever work that they are doing for the client to see if there's something that you are looking for. Now, the second thing is you, I would strongly recommend that you look for somebody who is actually Meta Blueprint certified. Now, Meta Blueprint certification is a, um, is a, what do we call, is a certification where um, it's really um, like Chi is certified, Jimmy is certified, I myself is certified since 2017. So what we need to do is we need to study, of course, and uh, we need to actually go through exams. There are quite a number of exams. You can actually go back to the Three Mark Day show where we interview uh, uh, Jimmy, that he walks us through about all the blueprint, meta blueprint certifications available and what are the things that he has acquired for himself. But then again, we need to go through exam. We need to really study. It. And um, the certification itself is really something from Facebook to certify that we are really kind of like, uh, we are really certified for our so-called I mean, our skill and knowledge about Facebook advertising or rather meta advertising, including Facebook, Instagram, and so on and so forth. So um, all you need to do is to ask for a Cradley link that looks like this. Just go for Cradley.com, ask for their aid. Hey, can I have your, you know, like meta blueprint certification link? So inside that, you'll be able to see all the certifications that they have. Now, as you can see, I have all these like four. In fact, these are the old ones and we have the new one. Some of them are expired, but nonetheless, you can see what are the badges that they have. I mean, because there are so many advertisers out there or agencies out there, they may not be actually certified. I'm not saying that they are not good. Huh? I mean, just really on the record, for the record. But I'm just saying that if you are kind of like new to Facebook advertising, you probably want to look for somebody who is really doing something, uh, following whatever Facebook is teaching or rather Meta is teaching us to do. So like for us, right, you know, people like us, we, we, we don't usually advise you to do something that Facebook or rather Meta do not allow us to do which um, you know, can save you a lot of hassle about getting yourself banned, getting yourself disabled, you know, like navigating all these hassles is actually quite troublesome from time to time. So that's the second thing that I believe you should consider doing. Ask for their credit link, okay? And uh, you can see their badges over here and each of the badges will state their 
expiry date. But nonetheless, even though it's expiry, I would say they are still certified. I mean, we just want to make sure that they are in a way kind of like went through some proper training from Facebook. Okay, so that's the second thing. And the third thing is, I would say up to now, right, um, if, if an agency that is not a meta business partner, marketing partner, sorry, um, I think you probably want to, uh, you know, reconsider. I'm not saying that you need to be a meta marketing partner, but then again, meta marketing partner is actually given to uh, agency people who are really like managing, um, you know, a lot of campaigns and we have extra resources. We have extra learning resources that we can actually get and of course some uh, support from Facebook and uh, that would actually put you in the more comfortable position where whenever things happen you know that your agency can really find ways at least they will do their best to find ways to help you so um, to look for a partner center I mean um, you probably can ask them to show you their partner center so this is a partner center now when it comes to um, meta business partner or marketing partner is it marketing partner now I mean they actually didn't I'm not sure so um, this is the marketing partner. So as a partner, we get recommendations on the campaigns that, they are, that we are managing and stuff like that, right? So um, just look for... So basically, to be a partner is actually very simple. I think it's not... It's very difficult, <laughs> I would say, uh, not to be a partner right now if you are an agency that has been around for a while because the threshold is only 5,000. If your, all your ad accounts are accumulated in your business manager account, spend five thousand dollar you see the number at the bottom spend five thousand dollar in the last six months you are actually eligible to apply for a meta marketing partner so of course you I mean there are different tier like now uh i mean all my accounts combined my client combined they have spent about nine hundred seventy eight thousand in the past six months so uh that shows uh how much money that they are handling or how much money that they, they kind of like oversee to give you some idea about are they ready to take up if you are actually a big spender you want to make sure that you're working with um you know like agency that has i mean work on bigger campaigns okay uh to make sure that you are you're in, a, in in good hands right so that's the second thing and uh, of course other than that right i mean uh, the fourth thing i would say is before you start working with an any agency i guess you need to ask for their strategy uh in my opinion Okay, some, this is totally arguable. Some people will say that, oh, you need to actually engage me first, then only I will share with you the strategy that I will, I will actually uh, kind of design for you and all that. But to me, if I'm confident with my work, I would just tell you that probably I'll just walk you through about things that I want to do. And that only will give you some like idea about what are you expecting, all right? Like for example, I'm... You know, we have this two-step funnel framework where we, it's, it's very transparent. I've been actually talking about this for the past many years. And uh, I'll just send you the video about, look, this is our strategy. And, uh, you know, and how I would, we would actually apply for you is like, probably we would tweak a little bit here and based on the business, we'll do something. So you feel more comfortable to actually give your, you know, like account to them. So that's the fourth thing I'd say. Um, but this is very subjective. Some, some agencies are not comfortable sharing strategy, but at least you, you should ask for some, you know, like big idea about what is the direction that you are proposing, like as an agency, that you are proposing me to kind of like take on to help me achieve the so-called outcome that I'm looking to achieve, right? So that's the fourth thing. And um, yeah, the last thing, I think this is one of the most important things. So I put it to the last, which is the fifth thing here is you want to make sure that this client is working on a business manager level, as in, when we work together, for example, if I am an agency and you are a client, when we work together, I will never come into your Facebook page or your Facebook account as a person, as an individual to manage things on behalf of you. Nor, you know, the other case is, I would say that, oh, you just give me your money, I'm going to create an ad account under my BM, which you have no access to it, and I'm just going to run ad on, 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 on my ad account, and I'm just going to give you some like periodical update from time to time. Uh, that's really, I'm not saying that it's not right, but it's, I'm just saying this is kind of like, um, you know, like old way of doing things. I would say now I would really believe in transparency and, uh, you know, information sharing. You want to make sure that you work with your client, uh, sorry, your agency on the business manager level. So what we will do is if you are, you know, working with me, I'm an agency, you're a client, I'll make sure that you have your business manager set up. And then after that, you know, we will create an ad account and everything within your business manager. 
and I will come in as a partner to manage your asset. I think that's the proper way because when we part ways, you just need to remove me as a partner, then everything is going back to normal. So it's very clean slate. I think that's the better way to do things. And on top of that, whatever I do, you have complete access, 100% to know, to see, to observe what I do. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's your right. And everything will be built on your business ad manager and your ad account. And the accumulated data on your pixel, on your you know, conversion API, or even on your ad account will remain yours. So when we part ways, you are not losing a thing at all. So I think that's the better way to work with an agency. So I would say if an agency can fulfill at least like three to four out of this, I would say, yes, you probably should consider. But the last one, the fifth one is the most important. So let me do a quick recap. <coughs> Excuse me. Check their clientele, ask for the brands that they are working with so they can actually quickly dive in and see what they are doing. Second thing is um, see whether, whether they are meta blueprint, certified professional, <coughs> uh, because that you know qualifies them as somebody who is actually doing something according to Meta's guidance. And the uh, third thing is um, whether are they a Meta business marketing partner? I'm not sure whether it's a business or marketing, meaning you know, it's like a different level of it's a different program where they get you know access from Meta on certain things. And uh, fourth one is to ask for their strategy. I think I'm the kind of person I would just like, when we sit down and there is anything, I'll just tell you the strategy. If you like it, then we work together. If you don't like it, then, well, if you can apply your strategy on your own, please be my guest, go ahead. Because it's worthless, you know, the strategy itself in my head is, that means nothing. I think it's more important that you are, it's implemented and get you the result, right? And the fifth one is, of course, you want to make sure that you are working with your agency on a business manager level to make sure that everything is on a clean slate. Okay, so that's what I think.